before we begin, let us all stand for a short prayer. Are you ready to pray? Okay, let us pray. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Lord, we offer this day all we do, think, and say. Give light to our mind to learn lessons of all kind. Help us to be obedient, truthful, and loving to all. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning, children. Okay, before we continue, let us sing first. Let us sing the song, Oh, it's science time after all. Are you ready? Okay, ready, sing. Oh, it's science time after all. 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 Again. Oh, it's science time after all. 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 You can now take your seats. Is there any absent today? None, but that's great. Since nobody's absent today, let us give ourselves three claps. Ready? Go! One, two, three. Now, before we continue, let us recall our guidelines when we are inside the classroom. Are you ready? Okay, number one is be prepared. Number two is be positive. Number three is be productive. Number four is be respectful of your classmates and teacher. And number five is be participative. Do you understand? Okay, that's great. Now, let's have a short game first. I will present some pictures, and I want you to give me the secret word for every picture. Are you ready? Okay, this is the first picture. What do you think is the secret word? It is the world or the earth. That is correct. Second picture. Correct. These are animals. Third picture. This is a forest. Correct. Fourth picture. This is a desert. That's right. Last picture. This is a garbage. Correct. Now, everything that surrounds us is a part of the environment. This includes the plants and the animals. This, is, this also includes the air we breathe, the sunlight that gives us strength, and the water that we always use in our schools, in our homes, and in businesses. However, the world that we live today is a bit different. We are experiencing an increase in temperature and the landscapes and seas change drastically. What do you think is the main reason for this? What do you think what do you think is the reason why this happens? Yes, Angelo. It's because of climate change, correct? Are there other answers? Yes, Hazel. It's because of human activities. Are there other answers? What else? Yes. It's because of global warming. To understand our lesson, let's have an activity. I will group you into four. You are group one, you are group two, you are group three, and this will be group four. Now here in front are four learning areas. Each of them offers a different topic for you to observe and examine. And I want you to write your notes as you go on. You understand? Okay, I will assign each group to a different learning area. And after three minutes, you will proceed to the next learning area until you complete all learning areas. Do you understand? Okay, but before we continue, let us recall our guidelines when we have an activity inside the classroom. What is the first step? Angela, be cooperative. Are there other answers? Yes? Show your respect to your group mates. What else? Yes. Don't disturb other groups. What else? Yes. Follow the directions carefully now. I will assign group 1 to area 1, 
group 2 for area 2, group 3 for area 3, and group 4 for area 4. You have 12 minutes to, to accomplish this activity. Are all groups finished? If you are done, clap three times. Ready? Go. One, two, three. Now you can now go back to your seats. Now I want you to choose a leader and I will ask several questions about the topics that you have observed and examined. Group one, who is your leader? JV. Group two, Heidi Shane. Group three, Natalie. Group four, Carmer. Very good. Now please stand up. Let's begin with group one. What is the picture all about? It's about people who are ignoring that global warming is real. That is correct. Now, is global warming real or not? It is real, right? Now, can you give me one reason why the global warming is real? The melting of the polar ice caps. That is correct. Now, can you give me three things that contribute to global warming? Improper waste disposal. Yes. Burning of garbages. What else? Using aerosol sprays. Very good. Let us give group one three claps. One, two, three. Let us proceed with group two. Please stand up. What happened in the pictures? There is deforestation, right? Now, deforest deforestation is when we use land, the land for something else rather than a forest. Now, what will happen if we cut our trees? There will be extreme flooding. Now, what are the main reasons why people cut our trees? It's because they want to use the land for something else. What else? They want to use the wood. What else? Maybe they want to... What? They want the animals to go away. Okay, that is correct. Now, what can we do to save our trees in our forests? We can prevent the illegal loggers to cut our trees. Are there other answers? We can plant many trees as much as we want. Let us give group two, three claps. One, two, three. Let us proceed with group three. Now, what have you observed in the two pictures? These are animals. That is correct. There is a cow and there is also a lion. Now, global warming heavily affects our animals. There is a great decline in some species of animals. Can you give me one reason why animals are important? Yes, animals play a role. They play a significant role in our ecosystem. Now, can you give me three things that an animal can provide? They can give us clothing. What else? Food and medicine. Let us give group three three claps one two three let us proceed with group four now what is happening in the picture the people are using energy that is correct now in order for us to help our mother earth let us use our energies in our home efficiently now can you give me five re five activities that can help uh, lessen our energy usage at home Turn off our appliances when we are not using it. What else? Turn off the light. What else? Turn off the TV if we are not watching. What else? Unplug our chargers when we are not using it. Are there other answers? Leave the refrigerator door closed. Right. Let us give group four three claps as well. One, two, three. Based from the activity, is global warming real? Yes, global warming is indeed real. Now, global warming 
and climate change refers to an increase in average global temperatures. Natural events and human activities are believed to be contributing to an increase in average global temperatures. This is caused primarily by greenhouse gases just like carbon dioxide. Human activities can also contribute a great amount in the increase of greenhouse gases. Now, in order to lessen our impact in the environment, we can do several things. We can save our tree, we can save our trees through reforestation or by recycling paper. Is that right? Yes, through that, we can also save our animals in order for them to thrive and survive in their own environments. Now, in order for us to understand our lesson further, let us have another group activity. I will give you several activity cards for each group. Group 1, Group 2, and Group 3. Read the directions carefully and after 5 minutes, you will present your output in front. Do you understand? Okay. Group 1, Group 2, and Group 3. You can now begin this activity. Is everybody finished? Okay, please go back to your seats and let us have our presentation. Let us begin with group one. Before we continue, let me read to you the rubrics in order for me to properly check your presentations. We will focus on theme and cooperation. I will give five points to the theme if the output followed the directions excellently. I will give three points if the output followed the, direc the directions but with minimal errors. And I will give two points if the output did not follow the directions. For cooperation, I will give five points if all members cooperated to finish the activity. Three points if most members cooperated and two members if few members cooperated. Do you understand? So let us have group one. For group one, they will have to write a slogan on how to save energies at home. Let us present, let us see your work. Yes, the slogan says, unplug the chargers, unplug the TVs to help Mother Earth. Now, for group one, I will give them 10 points, five for team and five for cooperation. Let us give the, let us give group one 10 claps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Let us have group two. For group two, they will have to draw three activities that show people taking good care of the environment. Group two, please show your work. Okay, for group two, I will also give them 10 points. Let us give them 10 claps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Excellent, group two. Let us have group three. For group three, they will have to make a short skit about a family saving energy and taking good care of the environment. It's a, it's a drama. Let us have group three. Well done, group three. For group 3, I will also give them 10 points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You are all excellent. Now, I will give you an activity sheet. I want you to write your name on top, and I want you to read the directions carefully. You have 5 minutes to finish this activity sheet. Do you understand? Okay. Get one and pass. Get one and pass. Get one and pass. Thank you. You can now start the activity. Is everybody finished? Okay, now exchange your activity sheets and let us check our activity sheet. Are you ready? Okay, for number one, we have to choose the letter of the correct answer and we have to write the chosen letter on a separate sheet. Okay, number one, which action can have the greatest impact on reducing the threat of global warming? A. Composting, B. Recycling, C. Reducing, or D. Planting a tree? What do you think is the correct answer? It is letter D. Planting a tree because the tree will help lessen the greenhouse gases in our environment. Number two, 
Why should we care about the rainforests? A. Because they provide our they provide or nurture biodiversity. B. They are sources of food and other resources. C. They are source for medicines and other chemicals or letter D. All of the above. What do you think is the answer? It is letter D. All of the above. Yes, that's right. Number three. How might products be designed so that they are more environment friendly? A. Less energy should be required for their use. B. Less energy should be used in their manufacture. C. Products should be designed to be recycled or reused. Or letter D. All of the above makes products more environment friendly. What do you think is the answer? Yes, it is still letter D because all of those characteristics makes products environment friendly. Number four, which of the following is not an effect of global warming? A, extinction of animals. B, proliferation of trees. C, rise of sea level. Or letter D, melting of ice caps. It is letter B, proliferation of trees. Because the effect of global warming is reforestation or sometimes uh, wild, wildfires, yes. Number five, which of the following leaves less human impact in the environment? A, deforestation. B, heavy smoke emissions from factories. Letter C, using energy-saving appliances. Or letter D, burning garbages. It is... Letter C. That's right. Now, collect all activity sheets and give it back to me. In order for us to continue learning this lesson, we will have a group assignment. This will be group 1, you are group 2, and you are group 3. I want you to create an ecosystem with an endangered animal or extinct species. You can choose any material to create this ecosystem. You can use cardboard or paper or cotton or any material that you want. But I want you to show the elements of the ecosystem that human activities have affected and are contributing to the decline of species. Do you understand? These pictures that you can see in the blackboard are some examples of those ecosystems. Now, I want you to write the directions in your science notebook. Is everybody finished writing? Okay, pack your things and let us all stand for our closing prayer. Are you ready to pray? Okay, let us pray in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for guiding us for all the things we've done today. Watch us, Lord, on our way and take us home safely. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Goodbye, children. Hey guys, and you just watched another episode from the Shudo Demonstration Teaching Series by Cheryl at para sa lesson plan and instructional materials ng video na ito, ilalagay ko ang lahat ng link dito sa description box. At para sa lahat ng mga videos ko, tungkol sa depth ranking, lesson plan tutorials, and other teacher-related stuff, iiwan ko ang lahat ng link dito sa description box. And once again, this is Cheryl. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye guys! Happy 60,000 subscribers sa ating lahat!